traveling fun. I love Vietnam. Overall, the people are so friendly. Love me some egg coffee. All over my face. It's crazy. Drinking some beer. Weird, too sexy for Hanoi, too sexy for your toy. I got the beaver fever. You constantly gotta be on the lookout, trying not to get hit. <sighs> we gotta move out of this hotel and move to another hotel nearby, and then we're going to go see the sights in the city of Hanoi today. Let's go! Alright, gonna grab some coffee real quick before we go to the next hotel. This place. Can I have a white coffee? White coffee? You want hot up cold? Hot. Hot. I needed. I love Vietnamese coffee. It's very strong, just like I like it. Now we gotta go check into our new hotel. Look who I found. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Hi. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank you, you so much. Bye. 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 Put it on the screen. Oh. Fun, fun, traveling fun. I love Vietnam. It's a little intense, but I like it. We have arrived. Passion fruit. Cheers. Walking here with the traffic is nuts. soup place that we went to the other day because it was so delicious we got to get more of this you cross today um, oh. you come back later yeah. thank you oh no they're close tofu and beef does the tofu have tofu. Fish, fish in it is that uh, fish the noodle a tofu Tasty-looking beef and tofu noodle soup. Looks great. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. 
And I got these donut things that they dip in the soup, which are delicious also. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we're gonna go somewhere else. Yeah, in call. Let's go. I love Vietnam. Overall, the people are so friendly. Street food is great. You got history, you got culture. Ah, awesome. So many cool cafes and stuff around here. What we gotta do? Ah, oh, babe, you don't know anything that I like. That's not true at all. All right, we're gonna see Hanoi with a sexy milf today. We're gonna take our sexy milf to church. Let's go to church with our sexy milf. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more Vietnam content, if you want more Asia travel content. I got a lot more coming, so subscribe. Like another street, and you are in front of the temple, you can hear this vibe, you know. <laughs> All right, we just checked out St. Joseph Church, it was really beautiful, I'm digging it. And we uh, stumbled upon this Buddhist temple right here that is now across the street. They are doing evening chanting on Sunday today. Now we're going to have some coffee. Gonna have some egg coffee for the first time in Hanoi. If you've seen my previous videos, you will know that I had egg coffee for the first time ever in my life in Saigon, but this will be my first egg coffee in Hanoi here. Smell good. I tried to copy him when he tried wine. He's like this. Mm. So you don't like egg coffee? I don't like egg coffee. I don't like creamy. Yeah. It's delicious. Love me some egg coffee all over my face. All right, some tasty egg coffee. Now we're gonna try to get one of these rickshaws. Hello. Hello. Yeah, my phone 450. 450. 450. Thank you. Thank you. We got our rickshaw in Hanoi. We got our donuts. We got our Thai milk. It's crazy. <laughs> I will wear white tomorrow. <laughs> I'm in trouble, guys. Help. I need help. Send help in Vietnam. I will wear white tomorrow. Send the paratroopers. I need help. Yeah. This is so chill. We can sit and see things. Yeah. That's why I like the red bus. You good? 
Yeah. You want okay. it? Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hanoi too, like I like Saigon like a little bit better because it's less chaotic. Like Hanoi feels more chaotic, but the weather is certainly better. Right. And I think it's amazing. Turn them on, turn the lanterns on. <laughs> Get out of our way, rickshaw coming through. Bring it out. Yes. She just cramp. Your baby's cramp. Bam, bam. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Yeah. There are tea for you. Three and tea for you. One more beer. For one more beer? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rickshaw ride success. The bestest, baddest in the whole wide world is here. I got the bestest, baddest I would kill him if you leave me. Hello again. Since you last saw us, we got married and then divorced and then remarried again. Okay, well, we're gonna go to Beer Street and drink some beer. You ready for some beer, babe? that I was reading a biography of Ho Chi Minh. He was impressed. He said he's never seen a foreigner uh, reading about Ho Chi Minh or anything like this before. I first read this book when uh, I did my master's degree in Asian studies over a decade ago, but at that time I had never been to Vietnam, so I'm studying again about the history and reading this biography of Ho Chi Minh by David Halberstam. It's a very good book, short and easy to read. I can recommend it. Now I'm gonna do some editing and then we gotta go to the embassy again to submit more paperwork and then we're gonna find some more cool stuff to do. Go, 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 let's go, babe, let's go. All right, I submitted my last document for my visa. Hopefully that goes well this week. Now we're gonna get some lunch right here before we go out to the lake. Starter, you will have banana, flour, uh, banana flour salad, one of rice spring roll with pork and mushroom, and one fresh spring roll with uh, ice cream. You can dip this into a uh, pizza if you want. Alright, got some appetizer action, some pomelo salad.
pie and salad's pretty good. Fry it, yes. And your main course, rice with pork ribs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got some pork ribs, rice, and some more spring rolls. Excuse me, and this uh, sauce of your pork ribs, in the vegetable soup. Oh, yeah. You can put the, some sauce on the rice to eat together, but don't put it too much, you'll be salty. Okay. I love Vietnamese food because it's the perfect balance, so like it's not too heavy and not too light. It's great. The staff are really nice here too. Yeah, thank you. Banana cake. Banana cake. All right, that was great. Now we're gonna freshen up, come back out to the lake. This is this cool old temple looking thing across the street from our hotel. There's something definitely wrong with me, man. Definitely, definitely something wrong with me, man. You wanna get yourself one of those? Sexy, filthy, rich Asian milfs, boy, you better subscribe to that Sir William Eliote channel. Sometimes that boy silly, sometimes that boy corny, but I tell you what, he's going places. You best be a part of it. You want to get you a sexy, rich Asian milf to cuddle with in Asia, you better subscribe to that there Sir William Eliote channel. <laughs> he might have a single ball, but he's got a double long schlong. No more of this bunny foo foo cuddling nonsense. We're too sexy for Hanoi, too sexy for your toy, too sexy for the. Uh, 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 uh. Am I annoying? I don't give a f. Alright, we are going to walk to the lake amongst the chaos of the streets of Hanoi. This is a whole street of Chinese, traditional Chinese herbal medicine shops. So it's pretty overcast today, so lake doesn't look super awesome, but it's still pretty cool. This is sort of like a Chinese animist religion temple across from the lake. It's a temple to the mother goddess in Chinese religion. It's not even a Buddhist temple. And there's also appears to be some kind of political statue. Check this out. I really need coffee, babe. Okay, let's get you some coffee. Baby needs coffee, baby needs coffee, baby needs coffee. All right, getting some more egg coffee right here behind the statue. There's a date behind this statue, 1946. Vietnam is one of my favorite countries to visit, for sure. Love the Vietnamese people, they're very nice. We can't have coffee, right, Strike? The copyright, babe. We can't sit with the music if I want to talk to the camera. If I want to talk to the camera, I cannot have the music because there is a copyright and it fucks up my video. I cannot monetize it. I cannot monetize it. I cannot monetize it. If Bieber, he is singing. He's crazy. <laughs> you know I love the Bieber. I got the Bieber fever. The baby's got the coffee, and she is getting warmer. Tell me about your feelings. 
tired. Tired. To death. So, tell the people what you think of Hanoi. I like Hanoi. <laughs> Hanoi. Uh, <laughs> she's tired. We did lots of extracurricular activities. I like Hanoi more than Ho Chi Minh. Really? Maybe the weather. Oh yeah. That make everything better. Yeah, the weather here has been amazing. Nice and cool. Not too cold. Um, Perfect cool. weather. Well, aside from being overcast, but kind of comes with the territory. But yeah, it's been around 20 degrees the whole time. Thank you. Guys, if you got a woman who's ungrateful, just bitch slap her down. <laughs> All right, here we go with the egg coffee, man. Ooh, the tasty egg coffee. Oh, yeah. So sweet and creamy. Oh, you see the coffee down at the bottom? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's biting me. She's biting me. Ah, so delicious, the egg coffee. She got a coconut coffee. How was the coconut coffee? I don't think it's like coffee. Um, it's like, it's it didn't look like, like there was much it's coffee like, in it. It's like milkshake. Ooh, very coconutty. Our relationship is a combat sport. Defend yourself at all times. All right, I'm gonna do some more exploring. She doesn't love me anymore because I don't want to carry a freaking tote without any wheels. It's his coat. Your shoes. And just one shoes and one box of toys. Your which is the equivalent of the coat. So we're 50-50. I can't imagine how I can deal with him all my life. Well, you're, you're asking for it. So many massage places. Pretty cool temple. Dig it. Whew. Yeah, walking on the streets in Hanoi, especially at rush hour, is very intense. You gotta constantly be watching out for lots of things. Motorbikes, cars, rickshaws, uneven pavement, other pedestrians, people doing construction on the sidewalk. Hello! I want to do do on, on you. Seems like things do not stay open late here in Hanoi. Other than the beer bars, seems like most things close pretty early here. It's about five o'clock and a bunch of these shops are closing up. Just walking along the streets here is exhausting. You constantly gotta be on the lookout, trying not to get hit, all kinds of stuff. It's uh, mentally taxing. We're gonna have dinner. What do you want for dinner, babes? Soup. Soup? No street. <laughs> soup, but not street soup. She said she wanted something cozy, so we're gonna go to Cozy Cuisine. Come on, baby. Let's get cozy. Okay, Baba. Uh, Baba? We're tired. I'm tired. was just okay actually it had really good reviews online but to me it was mad cozy cuisine retired gotta get ready for tattoos tomorrow so we'll see you for tattoos peace subscribe to the channel for more Asia content Vietnam Thailand Singapore Japan Hong Kong we got all kinds of tasty stuff coming up for ya. Putting in your eyeballs and your ear holes. Tired Thai girl. She's Thai and she's tired. Tired. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're done for the day. We are so done. Let me know in the comments if you've pooped today. 
because I'm gonna poop now. I mean, let me know what you think of Hanoi if you've been here before. I like it, but it seems a bit more chaotic than Saigon. Much more. M much more chaotic than Saigon. Oh.